What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got the offseason with those Eastern Illinois Panthers. Now, so far, we focused on the defense side of the ball. We got this left outside linebacker, four star recruit, my boy Big Phillip Wood. And then we got my boy Hale, who's also a four star recruit at the cornerback position, 5'11, 180. Then we have two outside linebackers on the right side of the defense. Both of them are run stoppers. So we're going to see how this works. One is 5'11, so he fits our like 4 3 scheme, and he fits more of our 3 4 scheme. So we might just mix and match these guys depending on high, how high, how high, how high their overalls are and so on and so forth. But all these guys were four-star recruits, so I'm pretty excited about that. We do have to focus on the offense side of the ball. Running back, we're pretty good. We have a transfer who's going to be eligible for this upcoming season. Um, these guys, again, all this is going to change. You know what I mean? Everybody who's a freshman moved to sophomore. Everybody who's a sophomore moved to junior and so on and so forth. Hopefully, we don't lose too many players. Um, yeah, but so far, I think we're looking pretty good. Defense is shaping up to be pretty solid. Got to get a deep tackle and a middle linebacker. We get to focus on the offense this, this time around. And, of course, um, Ricky Lindsey, he's going to be a junior. So is our boy Bo Ricks. Uh, Walker, free safety, strong safety, Davis, they're going to be sophomores. So we're still kind of young, but we got some real talent. So this could be a pretty good season if we can add some more pieces, maybe a few athletes, so you know, people that can create some big plays for us. And, yeah. Oh, and one last thing. You guys get to pick three teams for our schedule. Obviously, I'm going to put Alabama back on our schedule. That might be game number one. They embarrassed us in the Outback Bowl. I want some sweet revenge. But I am thinking if I do another dynasty that I might make another independent. I don't know if I'm going to make it in NCAA 06 or NCAA 07 on the PS2. Um, because I think that that was the reason why SAU was just so fun. Because we... It took forever to get to a huge bowl game because we were independent and there was no, like, bowl, guaranteed bowl bid for an independent school unless, like, Notre Dame or somebody like that. So just just keep that in, like, the future, our future view, all right? Independent school next time we do a dynasty. But anyways, man, let's get to some recruiting. If you don't know, my babies, they went undefeated. SAU, they, they the champs beat NC State 27-7. to My babies. So our school budget looks a little something like this. Recruiting is at 35%. Training is at 32%. Discipline is at 33%. We still get guys that get, that get suspended left and right. And I'm not having it. Even though I probably should add a little bit more to discipline. But hey, it is what it is. And we did finish ranked number 20. So we did finish as a top 20 team. Which is pretty impressive in year number 3. So Kenneth Hale wants to go pro. Now usually how I do this is I let my people go pro if that's what they want to do. He wants to go pro. I'm going to let that happen. Like I said, we do have some running backs in the stable. We do get, we do get our transfer running back that transferred to us last year, who's going to be eligible for this year. We still got, um, we still, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What, what, what is his name? Number 10. Number 10. His name's escaping me, y'all. I can't remember his name right now. But he was like Big Ten freshman. He he was a good running back. Y'all know who I'm talking about. His name was escaping me. Uh, Bell, he's graduating uh, Philip, he graduating. Bobby London, he's graduating. Um, Eric Beck, he's graduating. The guys got Carter Cuck, uh, man. So we're, we're losing some talented players, you know. What I'm saying, and talented from our standpoint. Dang, he was a he was a, a a senior. Dang, I did not realize that he was a senior. Oh well, oh well. All right, so we have a linebacker from Michigan of all places that wants to come and play for us, Parker. I'm going to accept that. We need an inside linebacker anyway. So here we go. Let's check out who wants to come play for us. Interested prospects. That's what we're looking for. And we got, uh, got a handful of five stars out here. Got a handful of five stars out here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of scouting, a little bit of recruiting, and then I'll see y'all in a second. So these are the guys that we're going to be going after. We've got Lance James, who's from Texas. He's a blue chip prospect, five-star recruit, six foot one ninety one. He is a halfback. We are be, we are losing Hale, but this dude, I mean, hey, C plus for hands. Not not the best hands, but I think that's decent enough. We're already on top of his list. Looking at Auburn, UCLA, Texas A&M, and Minnesota. So he's all across the country, and um, he runs a four two. So why not try to pick him up? 
I did not look at him first. I looked at our team needs first, and I was like, we still got some points left over. So I was like, why not try to get some people that can ball? This guy, he runs a 4-2 as well. Six foot, 200 pounds. Possibly put him on the defensive side of the ball. Maybe he could play running back. Um, maybe I was thinking they, they don't have his like arm strength and stuff like that. So he's probably not a quarterback, but I'm going to see how he translates to quarterback. Um, just to see. And again, this is if we get them. We, we might not get all these guys, but I'm just saying if we could, that would be pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to see where the athlete can play all up and down the board. Um, because we do have some other running backs that I might look to move to the defense side of the ball. Just to see, just just to try some things out, all right? So, Yancey, my boy Yancey, he's one of the best tackles in the nation. We're second on his list. He's a He is a junior college transfer. We also got Bush, incoming freshman. We're already on top of his list. Looking at Miami, Texas Tech, Ole Miss, and Ohio State. He is one of the best tackles in the whole nation as well. Cornerback, why not? He is one of the top guys. He runs a 4-4. He has A-minus hands, though. 6'3", 172. He might be able to play a little bit receiver as well. He's looking at LSU, Texas Tech, Virginia Tech, and SAU. Then my boy, uh, Dante. I, <laughs> I love what my white boy's name is, Dante. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> he, we're, we're on top of it. I'm sorry. We're on top of his list. Eastern Illinois. We're on top. Then SAU, Oklahoma, North Texas, and Texas. So he's, he might stay in the great, great state of Texas. Also looking at this inside linebacker as well. And again, we're on top of his list. We are not missing around. Deep tackle. One of the best deep tackles in the nation. And he's from the great state of Illinois. So we didn't have to spend too much uh, time recruiting him. We're going to talk about location. I mean, why not? It only, I mean, it, it works, right? Uh, this fullback we're looking at, we have one fullback on the roster already. He's looking at Ohio State, so we can steal him away from Ohio State. That would be big for us. This guard, looking to bring him in. Again, we're on top of his list. This guard, we're on top of his list as well. Three-star recruit, not the best guy, but you got to have old linemen. They get banged up, so you want to make sure you have people that can come in when necessary. Also looking at the strong safety, he is... Looking at SAU and Prime U, also Oklahoma and Oregon State, but we're on top of his list. He is a pretty good looking uh, strong safety. Deep tackle again on top of his list, so I'm not mad at that. Quarterback, looking at this three star quarterback, we are like down at the bottom, so I want him. He's 6'6, six, six. he runs a 4'6, he's 206 pounds, but if we don't get him, I'm really not tripping. But I want to recruit a quarterback. Also looking at this receiver who runs a 4-2. Hands A minus. Really want this kid to come to town. Got this tight end. He runs a 4-8 as a tight end. Not too bad. 6'4, 255. Potential is average, but discipline is excellent. Harris is another tight end. He looks to be pretty solid with second on his list right underneath Michigan. Also looking at this receiver who runs a 4-3. A minus hands. The potential is good. Discipline is excellent. That's what I want to see. And then, of course, we have these guys already. So, the next time I will see you guys, we're going to see where we got these guys. Or if we got these guys. You know what I'm saying? So, let's do what we got to do. Alrighty, so we were able to get the number one athlete, top five tailback, outside linebacker, outside linebacker, as you guys already know. I also got this guard, this tackle, fullback, middle linebacker, both middle linebackers, another deep tackle, cornerback, outside linebacker, two receivers, um, which I'm pretty excited about. Also got this strong safety that we're probably going to red shirt. We did not get the tight ends that we were going after. We just messed that up completely. Completely messed that up. Let's see if we can see where they went. We also lost this tackle who's going to go to Ole Miss. And then the two tight ends. That's a guard who's going to go to Texas Tech. We also lost another cornerback that went to Texas Tech, I believe. Quarterback. Uh, Marvin Harrington. He's going to be going to Virginia. So we missed out on the quarterback this year. Tight end is going to go to Purdue. So we're going to see him on the schedule. Uh, we also lost this guy who's going to go to Michigan. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, it didn't really go our way as far as the tight end position, but hopefully somebody walks on. Maybe we can, maybe we can change somebody's position. And they can play tight end, but a little bit disappointed that we did not get a tight end. So when it comes to the top classes, USC had a number one class, then SAU, LSU, Miami, Michigan had a top five class, Prime U top six, and we were top ten. We had two five stars, ten four stars. I'm not mad at that. We were able to sign 16 players in total. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. 
So Andy Welsh, he's coming back, but as of right now, he's on the bottom of the depth chart. So our running back room is pretty impressive, man. I, I, I still, I'm still not feeling Isaac though, man. He's former versus Penn State. I still ain't forgive him for that, even though we got blown out. James, as of right now, is 78 overall with 95 speed, so he's definitely gonna be back there on kick return as well. And then Parker, who still has this year and another year of eligibility left, he's our transfer, 5'11", 200 pounds, 84 overall with 90 speed. He's our best toe back so far. But we're here to check out some position changes. This athlete. 82 overall athlete, 93 speed. Let's see what he's definitely not a quarterback. Running back ability, receiver ability, not nah. tight end ability, not nah. running back room is getting pretty crowded. Can he be a safety for us? Nah. I mean, if I put him at like right end, he's gonna be a monster. And somebody told me to try that, to try a running back at right end, left end. But our defensive end positions, I'm liking. I don't think any of them are 88 overall, but I'm always worried that these guys are so light in the butt that they're just going to get pancaked all day. So let's check out our left-end situation. Yeah, DNs, again, 80 overall and 78 overall. Not the best, but I don't I don't know if I want to put them there. So I think I'm going to make them a tailback. We don't really need any tailbacks. But I think I'm going to make him a tailback. I don't want to redshirt him just because I think I talked to him about playing time. And I'm not trying to lose this recruit. You know what I mean? So, may, I mean, it's true. If I put him at the end in passing situations, he could turn out to be a monster. He could turn out to be a monster. So, you know what? Let's try it. Let's put him at, I think, left end was our weak, weaker one, right? Doll, DD. DD was left end. So, let's put him at left end. I'm going to just have these guys move around, though. Like, passing situations will definitely, when we play nickel or dime, probably bring, bring him in. So, he'll be our left end. Right? Oh, whoa. Yeah, left end. My bad, y'all. Left end for him. All righty. All right. Andy Welsh, I'm going to change his position just because... I just don't see him getting a lot of playing time in this backfield. I know I promised James playing time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him to, I think I'm going to move him to cornerback. And I'm going to redshirt him this year. Right now he's our fourth best, fourth, best, blah, 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 fourth best corner if I could speak. But I think I might redshirt him so he can get used to playing the cornerback position and see what happens from there. And hopefully this works out and I don't scar him for life. All right, let's take a quick look at our depth chart. Ricky Lindsey is now 87 overall. My boy Josh Jones, 65 overall, one-star recruit. I still got faith in you, baby. I still got faith in him. All right, I still do. I still do. Those are our only two quarterbacks. Uh, Calvin Parker, 87 overall, now with 91 speed. Isaac Williams, he got a little bit better. He's now 80 overall after some training. And uh, James, he is now 78 overall, not 95 speed still. So he's going to get some playing time. I do plan on changing up numbers and changing up equipment and stuff like that. Incoming freshman fullback is our best fullback on the roster at 76 overall. Sophomore fullback is 74. Uh, receivers, Bo Ricks is 82 overall. Nance making dance is 80 overall. And Sullivan got all kinds of speed with 95 overall speed. At tight end, we're thin. And nobody walked on either. So, yeah, we're going to look to spread teams out, it looks like. Because <laughs> we are thin at tight end. Left tackle is pretty solid. Left guard, could you use some work there? We actually don't have a left guard, obviously. So, we got Roberts, who is our incoming freshman. Robertson, he is going to be our starting left guard. Center, Hill, he's 74 overall. Right guard, we got... Uh, Peterson, 82 overall, right tackle. Yancey, incoming freshman, he's going to be our star. Well, he's the incoming junior. He was the joke. He was a junior college transfer. He's 78 overall. DN Bernard Walker, <laughs> 88 overall. He's actually now our best player on the team, believe it or not. He is our best player on the team. Uh, again, we're gonna be switching people around. I might actually put. I might when we go nickel. I might have nothing but DNs on the field uh just to get some speed out there robinson he's 82 overall so is dd um d tackle campbell 74 overall wood 78 overall incoming freshman he's good he's gonna be our starting outside linebacker on the left side middle linebacker yo eric font fontaine is still gonna start forget what you heard eric fontaine is still going to start 
All right, he has 82 speed. You know, he's only 68 overall. He's still going to start. He's first team Big Ten. So I really don't care. One of these guys will probably get red shirted. Um, just because you're like the slowest of the bunch, I might just red shirt you. But I mean, who knows? Who knows? Uh, yeah. So he's going to be our starting left outside linebacker at 72 overall. Um, Nick, I mean cornerback. Excuse me, I say nickelback. Why well, I say nickelback? Uh, cornerback, our boy Dunlap. He is our number one corner, 85 overall, freshman. I mean, 75 overall. Put Darby on the on our slot receivers. I think that can work. I think that can work. Um, when it comes to my boy Andy Welsh, he actually got a little bit better. He's now 6'8 overall as a cornerback, but I will still redshirt him this season. Walker, he's now 82 overall. And, uh, wow, Davis. I mean, he's first team All-American. Unless Davis just can't run with people because if you look at his speed, he can't run with nobody at 74 speed. I'm... But Davis is going to start, okay? If you were first team, Big Ten, first team, all, all American, you're going to play, okay? You're going to play until I just can't stomach you no more. And again, I like to do formation subs. So, so you will see these guys on the field. You will see these guys on the field. Bo Ricks is our number one kick returner. We got Parker back there. I'm probably going to put James back there. He's not even one of our top returners, but James, he's going to be back there. Kick returner, at least on kick returns, he will be back there. Alrighty. Alright, so we're going to set up in season recruiting. Again, I'm pretty sure that you only get four guys. So we will be looking at tight end heavy. We're going to be looking at at least three, four tight ends. We're going to be going with uh, two left guards. Uh, let's find two right guards as well. Even though we do got, I mean, we're going to look at two right guards as well. And then, so we got tight end. What do I feel like is going to be a need? Deep tackle. We got two freshmen there. Cornerback. Tell me, because these guys are juniors, we could lose a cornerback. So maybe I'll go after two cornerbacks. And again, there's no guarantee that we're going to get any of these guys. I mean, we're not going to have all these people be interested. So I'm going to go after the two top cornerbacks. And then go after two deep tackles. And that will be that. But I want some tight ends. I want at least two tight ends. That would be solid. We can get two tight ends, bruh. So I'm going to just go ahead and put Alabama, the rank number 13. Put them. We're not ranked. Wow, we are not ranked. So we're going to put number uh, 13, Alabama, on the schedule. We'll have them at home. Then we are on the road at Kentucky and Rutgers. All these can change. Kentucky and Rutgers, that can change. We do have to play Iowa. We're at Northwestern, at Michigan. We got Minnesota. Number four, Penn State's coming to town. Got Illinois, Wisconsin on the schedule at Purdue, at Notre Dame as well. So Notre Dame can change, and Kentucky and Rutgers can change. Can I add another one? Nope. The roster, so the schedule is full. We have to take out either Kentucky, Rutgers, or Notre Dame, or all three, but we are going to be playing Alabama. So let me know what you want on the schedule. I will try my best to accommodate all you guys. I'm going to leave you all with that. I'm going to swag some of these players out. Um, yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are excited for our new recruiting class. Some of these guys will get red shorted. Uh, some guys will not. I'm going to be moving people around. It should be a good year for Eastern Illinois football. Hope to see y'all there. Hope the rest of the day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hot sauce.